A man in New Jersey tonight accused of harassing his neighbors with racial slurs and more remains in jail following a protest outside his home. Edward Cagney Matthews was led out of his house in Mount Laurel Monday by members of a SWAT team. Demand for his arrest grew as a video of a racist rant directed at a black neighbor went viral. CBS 2's Alexandria Hoff has more. It was a dramatic home removal for a man who many claim had been harassing neighbors outside of his Mount Laurel home for years. Friday, 45 year old Edward Cagney Matthews was charged with bias, intimidation, and harassment after police were called to the 3600 block of Gramercy Way. Shortly after, a disturbing video went viral where police say Matthews was shouting offensive and racial slurs. This monkey over here, this monkey over here. Monday afternoon, protesters arrived to his home demanding police take Matthews into custody. These charges were put in front of a judge. The judge decided that they should be on a summons. So that evening, uh, Mr. Matthews was released. This is America. We all live here. We cannot, we can't put up with this. Several years ago, Aaliyah Robinson's daughter, Jasmine, lived in an apartment below Matthews in a different nearby apartment complex. Once the recent video was shared online, she decided to upload the one that she had taken years back. So now here I go, looking like a they're calling the cops. He said he was part of a gang, something about a five star general, something about pagans. Another neighbor told us at least 10 others have been continually harassed for the color of their skin. He used a, um, a BB gun yeah, to, to shoot their windows out. He smeared um, dog feces all over their car. I totally understand why the protesters were here today. Um, they had seen videos that weren't available to us on um, Friday night that were even worse. The protests that had remained calm all day got heated as police and SWAT units pulled Matthews from his home. Several bottles were thrown at Matthews' home and at police, but many community members urged that action to stop. Now with CBS 2's Alexandria Hoff reporting from Mount Laurel in South Jersey. Prosecutors say Matthews will remain in jail until a hearing, which will likely happen on Friday.